So my microphone went on holiday. So are you ready? Are you ready? How ready are you for Monday? Some schools are going to be reopening on Monday. So how ready are you for Monday? If you're ready for Monday, please let me know. If you're ready for Monday, please let me know. Because on Monday, a lot of schools are going to be going back. Are gonna be going back and if you are not yet ready I want you to start you know making yourself ready right now your children that are gonna go back to school you will notice that all this why that they've been at home they've all grown taller they've all grown bigger so are you ready for the rumbles are you ready for the rumbles all parents on this call right now if you're ready for the rumbles let me know let me know Drop a comment down there to tell me whether you are ready for Monday because I'm, I'm guessing and I'm very much sure that every of you will know that your children are going to need new clothes. So if they're going to need new clothes, have you made arrangements for them? Um, remember by today, you, you have to go in to get those clothes by today or else... Um, no, today and tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. So, the clothes, which are the most important thing, and I'm sure that they don't need bags uh, due to the situations. Um, I don't think they are allowing bags to be brought in at the moment. So, if they're not going to need bags, their men's school bags, they will need their lunchbox. And you know, when children grow to an extent, they don't like the lunchbox that they use. So, are you ready for the commitment of buying a new lunchbox? Or if they are eating in school, um, if they are going to be having lunches in school, then that's fine. Um, also, we are still in a cold period, and I guess most of the schools are in the process of um, trying to ventilate the whole classroom. So, with the ventilation thing coming on, you will notice that your child may be cold. So if you're going in on Monday, I will advise that you get your child in with a blankie. Okay? Um, get a blanket, keep it in school so that your child will be covering up uh, in class because it's definitely going to be cold except if the, if the sun decides to start coming out as often as possible, then that will be grand. But if not... Please, please, please make sure you have a good um, a good jacket on your child. Make sure you dress them warm uh, because the first day of the school is, is always very funny. So make sure you dress them very, very warm so that they can be able to get into school and enjoy the play. All right. So we have sorted out the school uniform. If you've not sorted out the school uniform, please... Get that, get that sorted out, get that in the bag because it's important that they go dress smart and also get ready for, um, because it's been a while that they've seen their friends. So there's going to be, definitely be children who will run around, who will fall down, who will tear their clothes in the first one week. So don't get angry when your child comes back home and the trouser is looking torn. It's perfectly okay. Is perfectly okay so for parents who have been doing the homeschool are you relieved are you relieved that your child is going back to school if you're relieved that your child is gonna go back to school please let me know let me know listen I am gonna tell you the truth it has been in most days it's been lovely in some other days it's been hectic it's been hectic you know any parents who has been doing homeschooling will truthfully if you want to be truthful to yourself we truthfully say that it's been hard all right but the good thing about it is that the way you manage it the way you let the process uh, the process has taught you something i'm very much sure that the process has taught you something 
So what have you learned from the process of homeschooling your child? Because the truth of the matter is that this will be an intermediate thing. It's my recall again. I don't know. It might become a seasonal thing. And um, it, it may also get to a point that schools will be reduced. The number of days we go to school will be reduced. So get ready, get ready. All the skills you've learned, all the skills you've learned in the past, how many months now, it is time you start employing it. Many parents who have not been looking into the homework of their children have found out that they also have started learning how to do mathematics. So if you've benefited from this in any way, if you've started bonding with your children very well, please congratulations. You have weathered the storm and it is now to leave the children to go outside and play with your friends. Also, 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 there is something that's going to happen if you've had some bad habits for these past months. It is going to seep into your children and they might manifest that outside. So it is important that you as a parent be very careful what you do in the presence of the young ones. What you say in the presence of the young ones also matters because they pick up all the languages, body languages, all the you know words that come out from our mouth, expressions that come out from our mouth. They pick it up and they spit it there. So if you, if you, have been naughty. Expect that your child will report to your school because they are going to use those words unknown to them. They might use those words. So it's very important that we learn something from that. So congratulations for everyone who has been doing very well with the homeschooling. If you've been doing very well with the homeschooling, I give you a clap. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. You've done really marvelous work and your children will be happy with you. And also, don't discard what you have learned from the process. Do not discard what you have learned from the process. The process is to make you better. So what you're going to do is just develop that on Saturdays when they come back, on Fridays when they come back. Plan for Saturday to do revisions with them so that what you have also learned, you will be able to implement it. All right. Next time I come your way, we are going to be talking about fathers and what you've learned during this pandemic period. Okay? If you're a father and you want to talk about it, please find the chat, find the chat box or find the DM, drop a line. One, when we come next time, I'll be able to call you in. We can discuss the matter here. My name is Love Day and you might be joining us from YouTube on Love Day TV. Thank you very much for joining us. If you're joining us from Facebook on Love Day Facebook page, oh, that is beautiful. Thank you for joining us. If you are on our Instagram page, oh, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. And if you are joining us live on Twitter, thank you also for joining us. This is to show you that we're global. Love Day Anion from Love Day TV saying thank you. But you know that we don't just go without singing, without dancing. That is our trademark because every time we come together here to talk about something, we must rejoice. We must dance. So if you have a danceable tune, play it right now. Play it in your house. I'm not playing it for you, all right? <laughs> play it in your house because last night, DJ... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just got a message right now that Bitcoin has been doing some very good things on a Friday. On a Friday, imagine Bitcoin. Bitcoin, doing something on a Friday, going the upwards. Bitcoin is dancing. It's going up. It's going up. It's going up. It's going up. So if you don't have a Bitcoin wallet up to now, guys, guys, listen. Bitcoin wallet or cryptocurrency wallet is free of charge. Okay? It's free of charge. Did you hear what I said? It is free of charge. So if you, in this day and age, you don't have a cryptocurrency wallet, Please, please, on a more serious note, on a more serious note, I need you to drop a comment here or just slide on the DM. Let me help you set it up for free. It is free, free, free. You don't pay for it. You don't pay to set up a Bitcoin, uh, um, um, a cryptocurrency wallet, okay? You don't pay to set it up. And 
if you set it up you can buy 10 pounds 10 dollars worth of cryptocurrency coin okay you can buy that and leave it there and then as today bitcoin is just doing the leg up 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 you leave it there as it's walking right up it's going shooting through this uh, through the moon you will make something out of it okay so please get to the dm right now let me help you set up your bitcoin wallet or your cryptocurrency wallet because you need to be in the best place and one of the best places on love day tv because we bring it to you real 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 we all are real when it comes to this place because why because we know we care about you and that is what we are doing right now so next time i come your way this is love day i am from love day tv saying be well be fine enjoy your weekend let the music play and play and play and let the music play and play and play and everybody sing everybody knows let the music take control come on now everybody together forever come on and be alone all night long all night yeah all night long all night yeah all night long all night yeah all night long listen if you don't joke and be happy in your house you're missing something because happiness helps to pump your blood to make you look better to make you look younger to make you better so make sure you are happy whatever you find yourself doing whatever your hand find doing do it to the utmost do it to the best of your knowledge and be happy in everything you find yourself doing god bless you this is love the onion from love the tv saying thank you very much for watching us be the best always be the best god bless you all thank you and have a wonderful day goodbye